Hi everyone. Um, I dare say, like me, if you've got young, you've had kids, mine are all grown up now, but you've been out at a restaurant for tea or gone to the pub for a can of meal and you're wondering how to keep the kids occupied while you're waiting for your tea to get ready. So we've often gone and got the serviette out or placemats or the beer coasters and we've drawn lots of dots and we've played the good old fashioned game of fences where you join the dots. Now, this is a great game itself because we do a lot of work on arrays or rows and columns at school. If you get your kids to even do that task, that's a great activity to start with. And as we've played it, and that's as straight as a dog's back leg, that row, but we'll get by. And we'd start by just joining dots. There's my turn, and my opponent has a go there. Then I do this, and then my opponent does that. Then I do this, my opponent does uh, and then I close the box and I put my initials in it. And whoever has the most boxes at the end wins the game. I'm always sure you're all pretty familiar with that. So let's take it a bit step further. This is great for developing our sort of our um, early our counting skills, addition skills. It can go a, lot, a long way. This game is appropriate for grade foundation right through to grade sixes and beyond. So what I've done here is I've drawn up a grid. And this one is about... Uh, let's see, it's eight squares by eight. You can choose how big you want it. Six by six, it's up to you. And for today, I'm just going to fill it with the numbers one to 20. And so that's going to give me practice with the numbers within that range. So bear with me while I um, fill the numbers in. Right. As you can see, I have now uh, filled my numbers in. I just kept going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, up to 20, then started again. So there might be more of some numbers than others. So I choose a different range uh, for doing that. So for older kids, you might try a different range. You might go numbers 50 to 100. You might go from 100 to 150. You might use three dice. You might use two dice. Um, speak to the kids. They'll come up with other ways of changing the game. Right, I'm just going to get my two dice. I'm going to roll. Three and two. I can add, I could subtract, I could multiply, or I could try and divide. And i see which one will work best. So I'm just going to say three times two. I know three times two is six. So where six is, I'm going to put in my colour. A bit of a fence around there. My opponent. Four and one. And they choose to go four plus one is five. And there's a five, they might just do that. So it's around the five. Back to me. Uh, three and six. I know three times six is 18. So where's an 18? Uh, let me see. I'm sure I'll put one in there. And you're watching this thinking, there it is. I'm going to go 18. My opponent, five and one. They might say five. Take away one is four. So where's a four? And they might do this. And eventually we just keep playing and playing. And whoever closes the square gets to win that square and they can shade it in. At the end of the game, we see who's got the most. I might shade mine in lightly with red. My opponent might shade theirs lightly in with green. Um, and we'll just see who's got the most. So some other ways to modify this, you could use three dice and do things like two times six plus... Five, and for example, oops, I've been shot so you can see it. You can change it there and have a bigger range of numbers. You could uh, use more operations. I've used multiplying and addition. You could change it around. As I said earlier, a bigger number range. Uh, you could do it on your own and time yourself how long it takes to complete the entire grid. You could write your equations down. So when you look back, you'd say, oh, look at the ones I'm doing now. Am I doing just addition? Am I doing just subtraction? Am I doing the easy ones? Am I challenging myself with harder ones? You could also change it so that the same equation can't be used more than once. That's a real challenge. Anyway, give this one a go. See how you like it. Thank you.